with Charlamagne Vlad. Oh, y'all got all right. Somebody said, "Look on Twitter." Hold on. Somebody said, "What did he steal to ask him? You want to die over this?" I don't know. Maybe like a wallet. Maybe some money. I don't know. Um, Charlemagne Vlad. Let me see. Oh, okay, okay. I think I got it. Here we go. I'll take any Jewish people, but they're powerful. I don't want them to misconstrue anything I'm saying or take anything I'm saying the wrong way. So I would much rather not even have this conversation. I have a lot of great Jewish people in my corner. I have a Jewish, I have a Jewish conglomerate. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm trying to think of the, the, the other Jewish rappers that we had on the list. There's, I think, uh, Asherat that's half Jewish. I think we put him in the list. Well, he needs to start claiming the whole Jewish so he can start prospering. So he's doing bad right now. <laughs> I'm looking at a lot of noise out of him. Exactly. <laughs> so gotta That's the thing, though, too. If you, if, you, if you are what you are, claim it, man. Especially if you're Jewish. And, and then you start kind of running out of people. I mean, there is uh, this necro, I believe. You know why? Because... MC Search? Search, listen, I, I didn't know he was, but the problem is, like, you know why there's not a lot of Jewish rappers? Because there's Jewish owners. And Jewish CEOs, they run these labels. <laughs> They're the bosses. That's why I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> well, what did Kanye say? He said, uh, "Happy Kwanzaa to all the artists and Happy Hanukkah to all the label execs." It's the truth. They run. They run the business. Period. From Hollywood to the music industry, everything. And I mean, it, it's, it's a very powerful mafia. As they should be. You saw what happened to Mel Gibson when he went on his ranch. <laughs> he deserved that, though. He's an asshole. Like, I, I'm, I'm a stern believer, man. Like, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't discriminate against anybody because of their race, because of their gender, because of their religion, because of their sexuality. So he deserved that. Whenever you, you know, pick out a whole race and say this race is effed up or this race is foul or this race is this and this race is that, you deserve whatever you get. See, the problem with black people, we don't have no power. No matter what we do, we can all click up. We don't have no organization that has holds any weight. And don't you don't hold no weight. We don't have no organization that holds no weight. You can't speak bad about a Jewish person because they have organizations and they're a close-knit group of people in power who will bring you down. Same thing with gays. You can't say nothing bad about gays because they move as a unit. Black people don't have that. I, I mean, if you, if you... Okay, so anyway, that's the end of the clip. Um was said in the caption i disagree with it says hypocrite charlemagne said the same thing nine years ago on vlad tv about jews running everything that he recently just condemned kanye for well i don't know what he condemned kanye for so let me i don't know i don't know if this hypocrite thing is right and y'all can send me what he co co uh, condemned kanye for but if y'all are trying to say this clip is tantamount to what kanye did y'all don't know why kanye is getting canceled Kanye isn't getting canceled for saying that uh, a lot of Jewish people run a lot of these industries. That's not why he's getting canceled. He got canceled for essentially blaming all Jewish people for his misfortunes in these industries and then threatened in any type of way. I know now he's trying to say, well, DEFCON means added protection. No, nigga. It was seen and taken in the context that you were ready to go to war. You literally said, you're ready to go to war. When you start saying that against an entire group of people, that's going to be a problem. It's like people saying, yo, man, fuck these niggas, man. All black people, wait till tomorrow. We finna go to war. Like, if somebody white said that, like, what the hell? Like, well, what the hell that mean? If if a if, if a white kid said that at my school, I'm not going to school the next day. He'd be like, oh yeah, black people, watch tomorrow, tomorrow, watch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going DefCon three on y'all niggas tomorrow. Whoa, I'm skipping school that day. So we all understand that what Kanye said was perceived as a threat broadly against Jewish people. That's why he got canceled. It's not because he said that th there's Jewish people who run the media that's not why he got canceled and when he was given an opportunity to clean clean up what he said he kept trying to double down they suspended him off twitter 
the nigga ran to drink champs and then started talking about, like, come on, bro. Some some people said I'm I'm copping, please. No, bro. What? Stop acting like what the nigga said. Yo, what Charlemagne said is not cancelable. He, no one is getting canceled for saying. A lot of people who are Jewish run a lot of these institutions. It's different when you're trying to act like there's a Jewish agenda, or. Because you're upset with your business dealings, you then claim you're about to go to war with Jewish people. Bro, this is completely different than what Charlemagne just said. Yeah, Charlemagne said, yo, I believe the other Jews like run a lot of these like industries. But is he fucking threatening a group? No, my nigga. Thank you. Somebody in, in, in the um, YouTube chat just said it, bro. Like, yo, his delivery was fucking off. Somebody said, act, don't want to get canceled. Bro, like, y'all you, you, all should understand what I'm saying. If somebody said, yo, I don't know. Let me see. I'm trying to think of an entity that black people run. I can't really think of anything or industry. Let me see. Um, I feel like I got to use a, a black reference for y'all to understand because y'all love Kanye so much. Y'all want to act like what he said is exactly what Charlemagne is saying. It's not. Anyway. What else are you talking about? Somebody said Kanye ain't threatening nobody. I got to cut it out. Are you serious? Kanye West tweet against Jewish people. I'm Googling it right now. Hold on, let me see. we'll find it. Where is the tweet? If this ain't a threat, my nigga, I'm a bit sleepy, but when I wake up, I'm going death. <laughs> death con three on Jewish people? Bro, if that's not a threat, bro, like, what's up with you, dog? Now, granted, knowing Kanye, because we know, we feel like Kanye is like a brother. So we, we interpret and contextualize everything he's saying. But just on face value, a lot of people going to take that as a threat. Yo, first of all, everybody keeps saying, look up the the definition of 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 death. There's nothing called death con. It's death com. The nigga said death. You can't mention an entire race of people that had a genocide and talking about death. I'm sorry. Like, you should just apologize. You should have said, I fucking misspoke. I was wrong. Jump on the fucking sword, bro. And you'd be straight. Y'all over here acting like y'all co-signing the dumb shit he said, bro. Like, you can't say that shit. Imagine a white person. Like, imagine a white person tweeting out, man, I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but yo, when I wake up, I'm about to go Amistad on these N words. Or I'm about to go. I'm about to go. I'm about to go Kunta Kente with these bitch ass. Like, bro, it's like at a certain point. And by the way, again, 
if I, if I still gotta like explain to you, I'm sorry, bro. I don't know. Somebody says act proven. He's scared. The nigga didn't say death con. He said death, bro. Y'all can't read it. It says death. Y'all are contextualizing it. Yo, for African Americans, we're gonna be sensitive towards if somebody types anything, be like, man, yo, tomorrow I'm about to lynch these niggas in, in debate. You're gonna be like, whoa, whoa, lynch niggas? Whoa, whoa. If a white person said that, all you're gonna see is lynch and niggas. Whoa, you're racist, brother. We don't get bro, we don't want to hear no contextualizing of that, brother. I know in your mind, y'all trying to rewrite the death to death and acting like, he, first of all, the nigga don't even know what it means. He don't even know what death con means. However, when you mention death and Jewish people, you're out of line. That's the facts. Somebody said I'm missing the point. Yo, y'all are tweaking, man. <laughs> Yo, y'all are the type of people who will support a nigga all the way to cancellation and 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 then blame him for following what the fuck that y'all were encouraging the whole time. All right. Anyway, what else y'all want me to check out real quick? Charlemagne also went a little viral for his Kanye clip. There's a Kanye clip. Let me see. This is what it takes for him, right? I hope that this is what it takes for him to hurt actually people hurt people like you always they, say, man. They do. And I and I hope that this is what helps him to go find some real healing. Because clearly he's hurting. Right? And um I just I I don't see this ending well. I you know I I feel like he's moving like a person who doesn't feel like he's gonna be here much longer. You know what I mean? And um, how long? How much longer? I don't, I don't. I'm not. I'm not even doing that. But I just I just feel like he's moving. I just feel like he's moving like a person who's not gonna be here much longer. Right? I hope that this is what it takes. Katie and Katie and a few other people were like really tr triggered and like really kind of. They, they felt disgusted by this conversation and um i'm not sure i feel the same obviously i wouldn't have said that but you do look at kanye and be like i hear i feel like kanye has also spoken I won't necessarily say death upon himself. He hasn't done that, but he's kind of made it where you you might think that something's going to happen to him because the way how Kanye speaks, he speaks like he's putting truth to power and that people are against him. And it's very high up important people. And that usually comes with like, even recently I've been listening to, you know, I, listen, I told you I, I love watching Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate recently has been talking about, he said, Yo, they have tried to come for me already by canceling me, and I'm still here. They might try to kill me. And he said that a few times, and I was just like, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. Somebody said Charlemagne should have said that. Yeah. I think it was rooted in concern, though. It was rooted in concern. Uh, last November, he's basically trying to get me on board to shit on somebody he knows is my friend, Pete Davidson. He's like, oh, you know, um, oh, uh, you know, you, we got to save the new Marilyn Monroe. Talking about Kim, and I'm like, yo, you know, Pete is my friend, right? So he's going on and on, and then he, finally he goes. 
my wife is out here fucking a white boy with a 10 inch penis and you won't help me <laughs> my wife is out here fucking a white boy with a 10 inch penis and you telling me that's your friend but you're supposed to be culture <laughs> He's screaming on the phone. Somebody help. Entertaining. Yes. Entertaining. Hilarious. What am I supposed to do but laugh at that? Damn. Damn, Pete Davidson got that slow? Holy. I mean, he did he did mess with Ariana Grande and Kim K. Maybe. That's embarrassing to admit, though. I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't want no nigga with no fucking foot-long cock fucking my, my chick. Like, come on, bro. Like, I'm telling you. Yeah, no, nah, come on, bro. I don't want no, like, <laughs> but I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like it, it would be at the moment of defeat. If you're asking another man to help you, Cause some nigga with a foot long cock is is dicking down your wife is like, bro. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you though. I mean, I'm I'm never a, a, a nigga who would ever ask about what dick size a, a woman has had with any other dude, but bro, I don't know how Ye would find out that information, but. If a, if Pete was up in there fucking her with a foot long, yeah, Kanye can't get back with her, bro. The imprint that she, that 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 nigga probably creating, bro, it's over. Somebody says, why why does Charlemagne tell his business like that? Oh my god, yo. I'm about to go just look at the, the Twitch the Twitch comments. Do you not realize that every time Kanye rants, he's been saying Charlemagne's name? Kanye tried to do the broke nigga version of what Elon's doing. See, Elon just bought Twitter. When Kanye was his life was in turmoil, he wanted to start putting out narratives against the dude who was fucking his wife. Remember I told you. They were trying to spread. They wanted me to spread some shit about the nigga having AIDS. And I'm like, whoa, whoa I can't just put that out in the air. The fuck? The hell? I'm like, listen, I work the media angle. I don't know no shit. Like I said, if Kanye says it, I'll put it up as Kanye saying it. But the fuck you want me to just start a rumor? No, nigga. Yes, Kanye was reaching out personally. He was having other people reach out to people to say shit. So yeah, I don't know what he reached out to tell to tell um um I don't know what he reached out to tell I don't know what he reached out to tell uh Charlemagne, but clearly Charlemagne was just like, "No." Oh, look at this. When it all falls down, how Kanye got canceled. Oh, Jake Paul did win. Y'all want to see the the post fight press conference? 